In this uh, tutorial, we will look at some of the physical changes uh, that occur in foods during uh, storage, handling, distribution uh, that result in uh, food spoilage. There is a considerable mechanical damage that can occur uh, during handling of foods that can lead to consumer unacceptability as well as further deterioration of the product. For example, fresh fruits and vegetables deteriorate when bruised during harvesting, packaging, transport and distribution. There is enzymatic browning that is caused by a rupture of cells that brings about changes in color and also it facilitates growth of microorganisms. In case of processed foods uh, such as crackers, uh, ready-to-eat cereals, as well as uh, snack chips that are usually dry and brittle, they may break down uh, due to mishandling uh, during transportation and distribution. Most of the uh, food products are uh, hygroscopic in nature. That means they gain or lose moisture depending on the uh, humidity levels in the uh, surrounding environment. A typical influence of uh, moisture exchange causes changes in texture. For example, dried foods such as crackers upon gaining moisture may lose their crunchiness and become soggy. Whereas soft textured foods uh, that have desirable chewy attributes become hard and brittle. The exchange of water may also occur in uh, multi-component foods depending on the differences of water activity. For example, uh, staling in bakery products is enhanced due to moisture transfer from the crumb that has high water activity to the crust that has low water activity. The uh, role of glass transition temperature, uh, that is a temperature where the product changes from glassy to a rubbery state and its impact on the moisture mobility uh, within the food product uh, has also been extensively studied uh, during the past uh, couple of decades. A common temperature influence defect in food powders is the caking phenomena. In uh, humid environments, as uh, powders gain moisture, their glass transition temperature decreases and they become amorphous and then they stick together uh, which results in caking. Temperature is another major factor that influences physical stability of foods. Both constant and fluctuating temperatures as well as low and high temperatures may cause food deterioration. For example, in case of uh, fresh fruits and uh, vegetables, they continue to respire after harvest and they also generate heat. The respiration rate is decreased by lowering the product temperature. As uh, ripening continues after harvest in uh, what are called climactic fruits, there is an increased evolution of ethylene. Ethylene also acts as a plant growth regulator and causes accelerated senescence. A higher temperature causes more ethylene production and a faster advance to senescence in such products. Lower temperatures in the range of uh, 5 to 15 degrees Celsius can also be harmful to certain fruits and vegetables. Uh, for example, bell peppers that are sensitive to chilling injury. Uh, chilling injury causes water soaking, pitting, discoloration and development of off flavors. In uh, frozen foods that are held at sub-freezing temperatures during storage, fluctuation of storage temperature can cause sublimation of ice at the product surface and uh, this uh, results in a common defect that is called freezer burn. With the temperature fluctuations, ice crystals in frozen foods grow in size. This uh, recrystallization phenomenon 
is uh, commonly observed during storage of ice cream when the texture becomes grainy over time. Fluctuating storage temperatures also cause crystallization of sugar and fats that can also bring about unacceptable changes in foods stored at ambient temperatures. Amorphous or glassy sugars become rubbery due to water uptake or increase in temperature. In a rubbery state, as sugars crystallize, they expel water and becomes grainy in texture. In uh, chocolates, if moisture condenses on the surface, it draws out sugar from the interior that causes an unacceptable grayish appearance. Also, fat migration and recrystallization of cocoa fat in uh, chocolates also cause white discoloration that is commonly called fat bloom. Fat crystallinity in chocolate occurs due to fluctuations in temperature. So the key here is that fluctuating temperatures during storage can cause quite a bit of damage to selected quality attributes of foods. Bread staling, which is due to starch retrogradation, caused by storage temperature is highest at the commonly used refrigerated temperatures. So it is usually advisable to store bread under sub-freezing temperatures where the starch retrogradation is very very slow. Foods that are created as emulsions such as mayonnaise, margarine, salad dressings can experience creaming or coalescence of droplets. These are defects that lead to unacceptability of these products. Since emulsions are thermodynamically unstable, improper dispersion of phase at the time of preparation or mishandling with extremes of temperatures or vibration can cause product degradation. So this is an overview of some of the physical changes that result in spoilage of foods.